In this lesson, we're looking at generalized arithmetic. Now, an algebraic expression which shows the steps required regardless of what numbers are used. That's what we mean when we talk about generalized arithmetic. Let's look at some examples. We're asked to write expressions for, firstly, the sum of m and p. All right, so you can see there's no numbers there. It's all algebra. Now, the word sum means to add, doesn't it? And we have m and p. So we're trying to add m and p. So our answer is m plus p. All right, so that expression there would mean the sum of m and p. Example 2, the average of a, b, and c. Now we're averaging three numbers here, represented by three letters, a, b, and c. Now to find the average of any group of numbers, what we do, we add them up. So we'll have a plus b plus c. Then we divide by the number of scores we have. In this case, we have three scores. So we divide by 3. So there we have it. The average of a, b, and c is a plus b plus c, all divided by 3. Right? If we had another score, for example, d, we needed to add that as well. We would add d, but we would divide by 4, because we would have had 4 scores. Fantastic. Example 3. The cost of 8 books at y cents each. Well, if we have eight books and they're each costing y, then our total cost will be eight lots of y, eight y. And just make sure we have our units. In this case, it's cents. So the cost there for eight books, y cents each, would be 